Hey, Ideal Protein Nation. We are back together again. I have got an amazing show for you today. I can't wait uh, for you to, to meet my guests. Uh, I've been very excited about this show for quite a few weeks. Um, let me just, let's get to it. I know that we're going to have new viewers and new listeners. Uh, so for those of you who might not be uh, acquainted with the Life Possible podcast, uh, the Life Possible podcast spotlights successful clients, coaches, and clinic owners who have used the Ideal Protein program to reset their body, reset their mind, and actually reset what's possible for their lives. You know, these people are, are accomplishing goals and dreams that they thought were dead and gone. These people are accomplishing goals and dreams they may not have even known they had. In short, they're living what in, in the ideal protein world we like to call life possible. So who am I and, and why am I doing this? Well, I tell you what, there's no easy way to put this. Uh, but back in 2015, um, I found myself fat, sick, and depressed. Uh, my name is Dr. John Barnes, and I'm the clinic owner at Reset Wellness in Centerville, Virginia. Uh, you know, uh, despite the fact uh, that I've got an undergraduate degree in exercise science, that I'm a doctor of chiropractic, you know, life got to me, the stresses of practice and family and all the things, I overate and overdrank myself uh, into obesity and, and just metabolic illness. And I thought there was no way out. Um, but then along came the Ideal Protein Program. And I, you know, I say that it came as the answer to a lot of my prayers, both personally and professionally. Um, I lost uh, over 65 pounds uh, doing the program. And uh, last year, I was able to complete my first half Ironman distance triathlon. Uh, so for me, I am an example of, of how this program can actually reset what is possible for someone's life. Um, who do we have for you today? I'm super excited to uh, have these ladies on the show. Today, we've got Brianne Donovan and Paula Hammer uh, from Ideal Wellness and Weight Loss in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, you may recognize these ladies. You may follow them on social media and, and not even uh, know who they are. Um, but I've been a big fan for quite a long time. Um, so let's go ahead and bring them in. Where are you, ladies? Hey! Hi. Hey! There you are. <laughs> Here we are. Ta-da! Coming, coming so to us from Pittsburgh. Yes. Is it snowing there already? Not no, yet. It's actually unseasonably warm. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. We're, we're going to Texas Super Weekend, and it's the one weekend it's going to be 72 yes. degrees and sunny here. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's supposed to be raining there. I was like, of, of course. course. <laughs> okay. We're going to be <sighs> learning and being with so many great people. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. I'm so excited for San Antonio Super Weekend. I'm so psyched you're going to be there. Yeah, we're it'll be so our excited. it'll be our first super weekend in like three years. Yeah, over three years. Long. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So. that will be absolutely magical. Uh, you know, again, they always are, um, but yeah. that first one back after three years is is something that uh, is just yeah. going to be fantastic. This one especially, I I kind of have some behind the scenes knowledge of what's happening. Ooh. So Ooh. you you ladies are going to leave that just. Absolutely we'll blown away. Uh huh. Absolutely. Yeah. I was like, wow, I need that. That I want it all. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? There's there's also people in there you don't even know about. So, oh, okay. Okay. Now I'm in my. Now I'm all I, I was excited saying. before, but now mm -hmm. yep. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we will, though, because we will be without our children. So it'll oh, be amazing. That's right. That's oh, amazing. right. Yeah. <laughs> don't have to worry about Which, the mother. And which actually, I will say, Brie, that's how you and I met for the first time. Yes. You actually were down here. You, you came down to Washington, D.C. Uh, we had an ideal protein training down here. Yes. And uh, you hopped, you just like what you heard about it, like the day before you hopped in the car and just drove down. Yeah, I had talked to Andrew. Um, and so he, I had met, you know, messaged him about, you know, some questions that I had. And he said, hey, you know, there, we're having this meeting. You probably can't make it. I know it's last minute. And it just happened to be a Thursday when I'm normally at the office and I already had childcare. So after work on Wednesday, when my husband was done, I was like, peace, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to sleep by myself in a hotel room and quiet and go to a meeting and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I overheard you telling somebody that you did have that nice, peaceful night before. And yes, uh, <laughs> I actually I get absorbed it. more. That I get it. I understand it. I've been, been there, done that. Um, so let's, let's 
let's get to it because we got a lot to cover during the show here. And again, uh, I find that this is nine times out of 10, this is the case. Both of you ladies uh, have your own stories about your personal journey with Ideal Protein, um, using the protocol to transform yourselves, then moving on to becoming a coach and helping others transform themselves. Um, And then, you know, Bree uh, becoming owner of the clinic of the whole nine yards. So let's get to that because that's, that's what everybody wants to hear. Um, Brie, why don't you why don't you go first? Because I believe chronologically the story yes, starts chronologically with you. Yes, chronologically with me. So it we'll does. just yes. start right there. Um, but yeah, I found Ideal Protein um, in back in 2010. Um, I was 25 years old and diagnosed with an underactive thyroid, and was just you know talk about sick and tired, just sick and tired all right. the time. And I remember going, you know, being prescribed medication and going through the process of checking my levels and. One of my um, appointments with my PCP, who's no longer my PCP, um, I said, you know, w- there's got to be something else I can do. I'm 25. I feel miserable. What can I do? And she was like, well, you're just going to have to get used to it. And I remember just being appalled and thinking this can't be it forever. I can't just, you know, it, it, admit that I'm going to feel like crap for the rest of my life. And so um, a girlfriend of mine knew about the program, Ideal Protein, um, and introduced me to uh, Mary, who used to be the owner. She worked with Ideal Protein Corporate. And I met with, yeah, and I met with Mary. Mary. She was like, I can't make any guarantees, but I really think from what you're describing to me that this program can really help you, help you. I, you know, and so Within two weeks of starting on the program, I had more energy during the day. I slept better at night. My hair stopped falling out. I felt amazing. And yeah. it was, you know, a career change. I was working in accounting and all of a sudden I was just so passionate, I guess is the only word to describe it. I just loved it that I asked Mary if I could coach for her. I just, I wanted to just automatically coach. What? All right. Slow yeah. down. <laughs> Paula, do you have to say that all the time? Like, slow down, Brie. She's right? a- I can keep up with the fast talking. I'm a fast talker, so no, I don't. I'm always like, tell me more. All right. So first off, I am going to show this this awesome picture um, of your before and after. Um, so how many pounds did you lose that in that before between those two pictures? Yeah. So I ended up losing about 45 pounds. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That and. And also, I want to slow you down and I want to pull you back to the whole thyroid thing. Right. Yeah. Because you and I talked about this, you know, when someone gets that thyroid diagnosis uh, to them and, and, and to modern medicine, it just seems like they say, well, that's it. You know, you're, you're doomed to a life of feeling terrible and gaining weight. Right. And or if it's not gaining weight, it's just the inability to lose weight. Mm-hmm. And you oh, touched up, yeah. you touched upon it already. It's just not the case with the ideal protein protocol. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it just the I think the energy like when you're so sick and tired, you don't realize, you know, sleeping all the time feels like such a norm. Mm -hmm. And so you don't realize how much you're missing out and that when you're tired all the time, your actual sleep in the evening isn't that great. But you don't realize that because you're just tired all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. So having that more energy during the day and sleeping better at night. um, was monumental and trickles into really everything. It's an absolute game changer. And I love the fact too, that you said a lot of that stuff started for you in the first two weeks, you know, that's, and that was my experience as well. Like I had a laundry list of symptoms. Um, You know, I could fall asleep anywhere. I actually fell asleep at a traffic light once. Don't tell my wife, don't tell my (laughs) wife. Um, But that's how bad it was. And, Mm -hmm. and so it, you can get those metabolic changes from the inside out mm-hmm. very, very quickly in doing protocol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, I was able to manage um, my symptoms. It's not always the case with most people, but I was actually able to get off medication and manage my weight and my symptoms just by following Ideal Protein, the phase one and the maintenance protocol. Right. That's fantastic. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Um, and so uh, then along the way, Let's see. Da, da, da. Did Paula show up in the middle of this? She I did. showed up. No. Okay, but so so Bree, you yes. went from losing the weight to becoming a coach. How quickly? Uh, I want to say within months. I want to say it was within three to four months that I went from doing the program and then coaching quite quickly. 
Yeah. 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 It just, just... It, it, it fit my personality. I felt so, you know, passionate. You know, you, you talk about, you know, getting excited and, you know, wanting to just get in everybody's face about it. But, you know, you, you just do. You feel so great that you think everybody should feel like mm -hmm. this. And so coaching happened just felt natural to me yeah. and um and that's you know how i how i met paula she came to one of our workshops awesome yes. yeah you know and that and again like i say that that's you find this story with ideal protein coaches and clinic owners all the time and I, there's something inside of you when you have dealt with like i said dealt with a thyroid diagnosis right being in that situation where you felt like oh god you know there's no way out of here and and then mm -hmm. And you find out there is a way like you have to turn around and try to help as many people as you can find that answer. Right. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. And so Paula shows up. Yeah. And I mean, she was looking for ideal protein because of thyroid. But I mean, I just wanted I, I was looking for ideal protein because I had struggled with my weight since I could remember. Um, growing up as a child, I mean, I specifically remember, um, in fourth grade being, you know, 20 pounds or more overweight than the other kids in my class, just because back then, you know, they weighed you in front of the class, like you did the nurse mm -hmm. checkups, you know, mm -hmm. and that's when I started realizing that, wow, I'm 20 pounds heavier than my classmates. So that's when it all started for me. Um, and through growing up, I did try to lose weight, uh, throughout the, the time, you know, and I was, uh. I mean, I was able to lose a little bit of weight and then it didn't, I, it didn't work. Um, so the whole struggle is, it is real. It is real. So I was excited to jump on when I realized that I go protein was going to work because I wanted to show everyone that it is possible. I had tried everything and I thought it wasn't possible. And here I am. And I want to help you. And I want to show you that we can all do it. And I know the answer. <laughs> I just want to tell everybody. Right. That's the thing. So you had shared with me when we were talking in the pre-interview that uh, this was pretty much the last ditch effort, right? It really was. Like I was to the point where I had tried so many things um, that I just said to myself, I'm either going to just deal with the, the fact that I'm going to be overweight or honestly, I just wanted... I, w I wanted to feel good. I didn't want to be overweight. I just didn't know what to do that to the point that I was like, you know what, maybe gastric bypass would be something that I, yeah. that I can, that I can do so that I can get what I want. I wanted to be healthy. I just didn't know how to do it. So yeah. I protein helped me. And, um, I definitely, and there's my before and after, and I lost 126 pounds. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. How much? 126. Wow. Yes. It is wow. doable. Mm -hmm. It was as long as you stick to it, it is doable. And coming from someone, and I will tell you, I am not good in the kitchen. I am not the cook. My husband is the cook. So I don't cook very much. And if I can do it, this is what I tell my clients all the time. Trust me. I can do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. Yep. And I, I think that that's too. That's one of the most coachable moments you can have. Yes. Um, you know, being authentic with them saying, look, I'm not the cook. I'm not the whatever. But mm -hmm. if I can get through this, you can get through this, right? It definitely. That was definitely. Yeah. Um, you guys shared a um, you shared a story that uh, happens every once in a while when people meet Paula um, for the first oh. time, and and how a lot of people just they think that Paula never had to deal with weight, right? Yeah, so, I get that all the time. Yeah. So when I hired Paula on, she'd only been down only. <laughs> well, I've only been down right? 50 pounds. Yes. Um, and so we do these, which I know we'll talk about, we do these videos on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so Paula started appearing in our videos pretty, you know, pretty regularly right around from the beginning. And you can watch Paula's last half of her weight loss by watching our old videos. Oh, wow. You can go through and see her journey. That's kind of cool. It's like a time warp. It like, is. I love looking yeah. at it. Like boom, boom, boom. And it's just like, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. Yes. It was kind of uh -huh. cool. <laughs> That's hilarious. But people don't believe. But now that when people meet you, they don't believe that you ever lost the weight, that you yeah. that you ever um, had to lose weight. Right. No, they like I've gotten I was getting so many comments that everyone was like, well, you just don't understand. You've never had a weight issue. And that was I was like, oh, wait, no, actually, I have. Um, and so that's when I had to like tell them my story. 
And that's when Brie was like, you know what? We have to we, put our before and afters in the office. We have to, we have to find Big Paul and put her up, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It was silly, but we never did until that moment. I was like, they have no idea, right. no clue. Yep. And yeah. it was cool too, because some of the clients actually saw me go through the process because I started, I had only lost 50 and then I ended up losing 126. So they saw me like kind of like go through it. But the new ones were just like, oh, this girl doesn't know. She doesn't understand what I'm going through. I got you. I understand what you're going through. Yes, but after it. that, we were like, of course, best friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. And I love that because you blow people away, right? The first time I realized that that was happening and I was given a workshop and I could kind of see looks on certain people's faces like, yeah, what is he? You know, he's just a doctor and he's never had to lose weight and, and all that kind of stuff. I started making sure for that. I said, look, here's all my qualifications, but this doesn't qualify me to take you through this program. And then I throw up the before picture and they're just kind of like, wait a second, what? Like, that's you. Yeah. And and I think that moment is is really pretty awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. It and is it's, really awesome. It's one of the things that sparked how we coach as well, mm -hmm. because people need to know that we're not telling you what to do because we think we know it all. It's because we've been there yeah. and we have gone through this process with ideal protein to know what works and know yeah. how to guide you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you, you instantly get credibility when they understand that you've done this before. Yeah, right. You know, and then you start telling them how many years ago it was and you gain yeah. even more credibility with the rest of it, right? Yeah. Right. Um, you know, and then how many that, times you've had to lose weight because, yeah. you know, all the life events. Exactly. Right. We'll talk about later. Yeah. All, <laughs> all the things, <laughs> right? All the th yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I did want to try to uh, also... People find Ideal Protein all kinds of different ways. Paula, how did you actually find out about Ideal Protein? So for me, it was um, as I was searching for something. So I was searching, but I ended up seeing one of my high school um, friends post, keep posting on her page and uh, pictures of herself. And she was looking amazing and losing weight and losing weight. And she kept saying like, pound ketosis, hashtag ketosis. So of course, I'm like Googling, I'm like, ketosis. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> right. What um, is this? What is this? I back in that day, because this was in back in 2013, um, it wasn't like readily available. Like I couldn't find out what ketosis was. So finally, I just, you know, I was like, I'm just going to reach out and I'm going to be like, hey, I'm just going to be honest. Like, hey, you're looking amazing. I need help. Can you help me? And she was so nice and gave me the um, ideal protein information, gave me the center. She actually came to this particular center. Oh, wow. OK. Yeah. Yeah. And so she gave me like who to contact. So, of course, I did my little research and made sure that, you know, it was the right fit for me. And then I came to the seminar with Dr. Stein and mm -hmm. I, I, I was love in. love Dr. Stein. I was in. I, I was willing to try it. I was in and because I saw her results. But I don't think that I was really like super in until because I knew in my head I had lost weight before. I've tried other things mm -hmm. and I was able to lose 12 pounds on my own before. So mm -hmm. I knew the 12 pounds was going to come easy. I've done it before. So um, when I did it, I was like, all right, I get to the 12 pounds. I was like, all right, here we go. Is this going to continue? What? <laughs> yeah, let's see. And it did. And once I got to the 20 pounds, I feel like that's when I allowed myself to get really excited. And I was like, wow, yeah. uh, this is way different than what I had done before. It's actually working. And that's when I started getting excited. And then at the 50 pound mark was like, OK, I need to I need to help others. Yeah. <laughs> I need to completely help others. This is so easy. And the thing is, I wanted to make the change. I just didn't know what to do. And this just gives you right. the knowledge and that I didn't have. And it's so simple that once, you know, I was just like, wow, like everyone needs to know. Yeah, because if you want to be healthy, there is a way and you can do it. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's the thing, right? You're stuck where you are, but you still have this desire. But like you said, you were kind of down to a last ditch effort, exhausted. I, I don't want to try another diet. I just don't want to, but you saw that and you're like, wait a second, right? What you need is somebody to show up with a plan mm -hmm. and who can, uh, the person who can guide you, right? Like that, again, the, the best part of this program is the fact that not only do we show you the plan, give you the plan, but then we also guide you. We provide you with a personal guide mm -hmm. to, to take so you true. on that journey. Right. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Such, mm -hmm. such a big deal. And so then, so here we are, we're both coaching in the clinic. Mary's yes. got the clinic. Yes. And, and then how do things evolve from there to where you, where you are today? Yeah. I, we, well, we were coaching together. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I think that's hands down our greatest thing is we loved coaching together right and developing and so one of the things that we would do with Mary is that we would go into you know she worked for Idea Protein Corporate so we would help her and assist her in going into other clinics um, train their staff mm -hmm. teach them how to give workshops um, and so I really think that meeting new people meeting people around the area not just in Pennsylvania but in West Virginia as well really helped us you know identify kind of the coaching gap a little bit I think yeah. that's that's the biggest thing um, because, you know, just like what you're saying, yes, Ideal Protein uh, has the answers, but I also think it helps having the right coach too. Yes. Agreed. And Most so definitely. that's one of the things that Paula and I have been so passionate about is making sure that coaching and we doing that with Mary, we realized that we just really liked coaching mm -hmm. and we didn't, you know, as much as we love meeting new people and traveling, our passion was more in the clinic than it was you know, talking necessarily talking to all the doctors and, you know, trying to explain those things. We just really like the nitty gritty with helping the patients individually. And so it just made sense for um, me to purchase the clinic from Mary and just for us to focus on ourselves here in Pittsburgh uh, and, and, you know, become the become the awesome people that we think we are. <laughs> <laughs> we still come in contact with all the other coaches, though, for sure. And yeah. Them. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it was fun on honestly getting to know what their struggles were too. And uh, like seeing what their gaps were, because they yes. were actually like a little bit different than what our gaps were. Mm -hmm. um, and, it, and it's different depending on like, I went through the program. So I know what it's like to go through the program. So did Brie. There are sometimes other coaches that maybe have not been through the program. So mm -hmm. they there's just a little bit of disconnect and it was nice to like kind of show them the light. So it was easier for them to coach their patients. Right. Yeah, and yeah. That, it was just like nice that they were like, Oh wow. I didn't realize that. That makes total sense. I can relate now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And, and, and I can't even imagine that too. Um, not, not knowing from the inside out. And I certainly would always suggest to, to coaches, whether you feel like you need to lose weight or not, I would still spend time doing the protocol because mm -hmm metabolically, it, again, the changes that you get on the inside that you might feel better than you thought you needed to, you know, right. some people are like, oh, you know, I'm not so yeah. bad, but it's, it's not just about how many pounds do you have to lose? It's also, what else do you have going on inside that you haven't identified uh, is linked metabolically to, to what's happening? Yeah. And um, just like, you know, with the, you know, with people saying Paula didn't know what it's like to have a weight problem. We get that all the time with people that clients that come in, mm -hmm. you know, where they don't necessarily look like they necessarily need to lose weight, but that's mm -hmm. not necessarily why they come in through the door. It's sometimes it's metabolically it's, you know, yeah. you know, test results and those yeah. kinds of things that are not necessarily just outwardly weight loss needs to yeah. be. Or Absolutely. the people that have already lost the weight and then like new people will be like, what is that person doing here? Right. I, I love yeah. when that happens. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. I'm like, little did you know. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. No, it's so cool. And, you know, we've got a lot of people's uh, before and after pictures on the walls and I'll walk them over to I'll say, well, because that's what they looked like two years ago. Right. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, if not, I'll, I'll just say, you know what? Next time we'll, we'll look at their before picture. I had a receptionist that really, it was, you could tell it was really bothering her. And, and she's like, Dr. Barnes, I have to ask you, um, and I'm sorry if I'm overstepping, but why does so-and-so come in to lose weight? And it's just like, I just started howling. I'm like, you know what? Here's the thing. She's not here to lose weight anymore. Ask her to see her before picture 90 pounds ago. Mm, and yeah. then, you know, her jaw hits the ground. She's like, wait, what? Yeah. And that's just another source of inspiration for them. Yeah. Because absolutely. it's like, wow. And there's another person. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our, our clinics are just a whole kind of space into themselves. Um, you know, weight gain and weight loss is not a right. mystery inside our offices uh, like it is in the outside world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm hmm. So um, then another. So that was uh, you bought the clinic in 2017. Yes. Right? Yes. And, scary as all get out, but also exciting and, and fun, I would imagine. Absolutely. We just, we had the best time here. We had the, mm -hmm. you know, obviously I'm biased, but we have the best clients as well. Yeah. Uh, and so every day is, you know, that's one of the things that we, you know, we want to do is we want to be the best part of people's day. And yes. so we make that an effort and a goal every day when we're here and we love what we do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
I, I love that when we were talking in the pre-interview and, and you said that, that that is, that's literally one of the things that you have talked about between each other and that you set out to do uh, very intentionally, mm -hmm. um, that you want to be the best part of someone's day. Uh, yeah. Yep. That yeah. just sums it up, right? Mm -hmm. um, and wow. Um, so also too, a neat opportunity comes around for you, Paula. Yes. Um, Tell us about how you got involved with uh, the Ideal Protein rebranding uh, efforts and with, with marketing. Um, so one day I um, actually just got a phone call from, it's, it was like a Canada number. I was like, that's weird. I was like, this is spam. So I'm not answering it. Um, so, but they left the message and usually spam does not leave a message. So whenever I got the message, it was one of the corporate um, ladies from Canada um, that used to, that is over there. And she was like, Hey, we saw, I had filled out a, um, like a life possible, like my before and after. And they had found on their website there was, she's like, I was searching through and I found your before and after. And then I started looking at your social media and um, would you want to um, come in and be like one of the spokespeople for Ideal Protein for the, the new campaign? And I was like, uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Absolutely. Yeah. So that so, is how I found out about it. And so uh, they flew you up to Canada, right? They did. Yes, they flew me there. Um, they um, got us like we were. Yes. We went to the studio where, um, yeah, it was like, honestly, like filming, like I felt like I was like filming like a movie or like a show. <laughs> yeah, right. I got to experience what it's like to be on set. I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. You I love it. And you, you got the thing. You got the, uh, how many times? They did give me that so I could go ahead and like, and <laughs> I was at the very end of it when we were finally done. Because it literally, we, they had us get to the set at like 5 a.m. And we weren't done till like 11 p.m. It Holy like heck, all really? day. So yeah, by the time we were done, they're like, you deserve this. And, and. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. Yeah. I love that. So there you are with our friend, Marnie Elliott. Yes. Marnie was on the show. She's yes. absolutely amazing. She's the uh, best. And then there's one of your, your promotional pictures, et cetera, with your before and your after. That is um, it. Yes. And we call and, her. So there's a, there's a, you know, a, a, what are they called? The like the promotional oh, like stand, a poster, right? A poster. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have her. We have a big one of Paula in our office. Mm -hmm. She stands by our front door. Yes. And we were yep. we refer to her as Big Paula. Yes. And Big Paula <laughs> greets everyone as they walk in the door. So mm -hmm. when we we move locations, we were like, just look for Big Paula. You can't miss her. You'll see her. <laughs> because she's right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's you can awesome. See from the lobby. That's right. <laughs> and this is everybody. That is everyone. Yes. So I'm yeah, awesome. when I when I look through there and I see the faces, you've had some fun people there. It seems like it was a really great time. Uh, in the red, that's Lynn Roos uh, yes. from my, from our office. She was I our amazing transformation. She's the cutest. Mm -hmm. She she absolutely adores you as well. Uh, <laughs> Good. I I think that she you know I think that you guys really bonded. Um, we did. And Dr. Paul, uh, oh yes. my God, what an amazing man Dr. Paul is. He's been on the show as well. Um, and I've had the opportunity to meet him a couple of times in person, uh, cause he's actually just from Maryland. Um, but so let's, let's do this. I do want to actually show the video. I think okay. that, uh, it's really pretty fun and we can also kind of talk a little bit about that. So here, let's, let's do this. I'm a 61 year old grandmother. I knew love, but I didn't know self love. I am strong. I am brave. I am perfect. Lee imperfect. I didn't always know it, but the power to lose weight has been inside me all along. Powered by the Ideal Protein Protocol, I crushed all kinds of weight and learned to keep it off. I choose high quality protein over carbs and reset my body to burn fat. I'm a pound dropping powerhouse in nutritional ketosis. I maintain muscle, deflate appetite, inflate endurance. My Ideal Protein Coach empowers my power. I put down negativity, pick up life changing habits. I lose weight, I gain me my healthiest self living my most vibrant life in a bright big new world of nothing but pure sweet possible power your power with a personal coach and ketogenic weight loss science 
Ideal Protein, powering life possible. Dang, that was so cool. That was so cool. She's a rock star, man. Can you show us some of those moves? Do you still have them? You know what? Like, okay, so they had all, everything that we were going to do planned. Like, it was like, okay, when you get up on this stage, you're going to, I need you to dance. I need you to bounce a little bit. No music, though. I was like, okay, so do you want me to, they're like, bounce a little bit. So one of the guys, he was like, um, would it help if I put on some music? I was like, yeah. Yeah, so like, right. What kind of music do you want to listen to? And I was like, let's put on. So I put in some some of my Spanish music jam <laughs> and I danced it through. And they were like, there it is. That... <laughs> so the rest of my set, every time it would be my turn because we all took turns doing our set. Every time it was Paula's set, there was some Spanish music blaring. They're like, all right, girl, dance. So Get like, it. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so awesome. Yeah. Well, and again, you know, the sass and the attitude comes across and in <laughs> all right. your little scenes, right? That's uh, it. But I just yeah, thought that was a good job. They, they did. really did. They really did. It was so cool. No, I was I was thrilled with the whole campaign. Um, you know, everything that, that happened and the changes there. And uh I thought they did a great job with that. I loved like the how you you changed, you transformed in front of our eyes. Yeah. Right. They did a mm-hmm. really great job showing you know they between did. doing that and then doing the coloring behind you, showing mm-hmm. you in different phases of that transformation. Yeah, I thought, and I thought they, all like, that stuff. they matched all our outfits so that we would. So in like my before picture, I was wearing like an all black outfit with like yep. brown boots. So they made sure that in my after pictures, that people would like recognize um, that I was in a black outfit, and then they put me in white boots, and then they even let me keep my jewelry on because they fe- felt that it was like more me. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like. Well, perfect, which is yeah. really important when you're trying to showcase, yeah, like you to be you, yeah, because I'm not right. like anyone else, I'm right? Playing yeah, <laughs> right. The cool thing that that Marnie shared with me is, um, with hers, if you look at her before and after, she's wearing purple, yes, um, but her before picture actually it was a white sweater, and they oh. they graphically changed her sweater in her before picture to be purple. Not really. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that because they must have done it beforehand because they had our pictures with like what we were doing and hers was uh-huh. already purple, so they already had that player. They are they already knew and they'd go back and take a look if you've got any of those. We've we've got our banner, um, and it's it's got that before purple picture. That is I, I so thought that was funny. crazy. Yeah, it's really crazy how they can do that stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, so tell me more about. And we kind of already, one of the biggest things that that you ladies both have had to deal with uh, that you've used Ideal Protein very, very successful for um, is pregnancy and post-pregnancy weight and Mm -hmm. maybe even sometimes getting pregnant. I mean, it just kind of seems good. Do you want to speak to that? Yeah. Uh, Well, so while Paula was filming those promotional videos, Mm -hmm. I was... Um, cooking a baby. I was cooking a baby. <laughs> okay. Um, I was cooking baby number one. And uh, so I had the thyroid issues. And so my husband and I had been trying and it wasn't until I did a phase one restart. Um, we were doing a tune up and I was mm-hmm. on phase one mm-hmm. and I was, I was able to conceive, get pregnant. And uh, I went into my first doctor's appointment with my OBs. And their first question was, you know, about thyroid. We need to check your thyroid. Pregnancy, you know, can really cause those yeah. levels to to go out of whack, which it did for me. Um, and after they got my levels, they were my TSH levels were actually so high that first appointment that she was shocked that I was able to get pregnant. Uh, wow. she, she didn't think that based on my levels, I should have been able to conceive um, because I was at that time just. I, who knows what was going on, but that was it. And so um, I do credit phase one with being able to uh, get pregnant. Yeah. And so uh, I ended up being monitored from, a, you know, a thyroid perspective, my entire pregnancy was able to keep it under control. Uh, but I definitely feel like we have, a you know, we have a lot of patients that come in that have had mm-hmm. fertility issues. Um, and with insulin being a hormone and things mm-hmm. like thyroid and all that stuff, 
Um, there's definitely the IP yeah. baby so phenomenon. We for have sure. to talk about that at the startup appointment. Yeah. Like, okay. So I just want to let you know that if you if you're do not, not yeah, to have a baby, use barrier protection. Right. <laughs> this is a hormonal diet. Um, so yeah. it works. Yes. It works. Mm -hmm. It really does. Yeah, absolutely. You you can't discount that. Uh, definitely in this arena. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the interplay, the, the fascinating thing about the hormone insulin is, is how it interplays with every cell in the body, quite frankly, but also most, if not every hormone in the body. And, uh, you know, women who are suffering from PCOS, uh, diagnosed or undiagnosed, um, you know, that's, that's the mechanism by which we see that sometimes they're, they are able to get pregnant and conceive. You know, I've had two guests on this show. Um, that had, that were dealing with PCOS, did ideal protein, and one got pregnant on purpose and the other by surprise. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. And that was exactly how I got my second kid too. <laughs> because, you know, my thyroid levels were so out of whack. And at the time, you know, you're thinking about it and you're like, okay, well, it was probably phase one. And actually it's funny because both times I got pregnant, I had big um, ideal protein events. So um, I, we were actually filming with Chef Verity up in Quebec. Mm -hmm. And the I had, first one. yeah, for the first one, I just found out that I was pregnant. And so, you know, you're, you're thanking them, you know, like this program, you know, this is awesome. But I hadn't really recognized the true impact of phase one that it played in mm -hmm. my role of getting pregnant. Yeah. And so, um, when I ended up trying to lose weight after my first baby, I was doing, um, phase one again, I did a full blown, um, restart. Mm -hmm. I gained 55 pounds with my first pregnancy. You go in and you're like, Oh, I got this. I know what to do. No, no. Uh, and so I ended up gaining 55 pounds, uh, my first pregnancy. And then, uh, when I restarted phase one, I was just finishing up. I was just starting to transition, um, into maintenance and I didn't feel right and took a pregnancy test. And I phase one had gotten me pregnant again. And it wasn't that until then that I realized, because, you know, we we kind of didn't think it would be, happen that quickly. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Out of whack. The doctor said it probably wouldn't happen so quickly. And I just didn't take into, fa in, into account how impactful phase one is. Um, and so I ended up losing all 55 pounds with baby number one mm -hmm. and then ended up surprised pregnant then... with <laughs> thanks to phase one again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I think that we need to preach abstinence with phase one from from uh, what, what I'm hearing right. out of you. <laughs> That's right. There's, uh, you know. So I love these pictures that you put together. So, yeah. so this is your journey with baby number one. Yes, my 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 first son Charlie, um, when I was pregnant, and then uh, right before I restarted, mm -hmm. um, and then I ended up losing, and I wasn't I wasn't the full 55 pounds at my the time of my restart. Um, 55 oh. pounds was including Charlie. Um, yep. so I think yep. I, <laughs> I still ended up having to lose 40. Um, but, uh, then, you know, that was literally, I think we took that picture. Had I taken, the I took that, picture. you took that picture. Had I taken the pregnancy test? No, not yet. Okay. I was going to say, I couldn't remember if that was, I hadn't like fully transitioned off. No, no, so no. I think that was like two days before two days transition. before. So James is technically in there too. He's in, there. <laughs> in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's so yeah, funny James. Charlie James, that's right mm -hmm. and then turn right back around and we're at it again there it and is. there it is yeah yeah so then i gained I, and you know you go through it the second time and again i'm like this is you know i know what to do i'm gonna i'm gonna I, and i followed stabilization i you know ideal protein stabilization and maintenance program I followed mm -hmm. it for the first couple of weeks of pregnancy. I just got really nauseous. Yeah, um, yeah. I battled um, heavy nausea mm -hmm. until I was probably halfway through my pregnancy. And so it was really hard to stomach protein and stomach, vegetables. you know, vegetables and certain yeah, things that yeah. are part of your daily life. And mm -hmm. there were times where I felt like I was the walking antithesis of high dose protein. <laughs> like no. don't eat bread and cheese together. Ta-da, right. there it is, you know. You're like, woohoo. Exactly. Grilled cheese sandwich, let's go. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and so I ended up gaining 60 pounds uh, for my second pregnancy. And I do think part of it was the quickness and turnaround. I really didn't give my yeah. body a chance to have 
some time on maintenance to really eat healthy again. I went from kind of one extreme to the other yeah. by, yeah. you know, gaining weight and then losing weight and then gaining weight again. Um, but I restarted again after James and and followed it through and, and continued to lose all of my weight. And that was just a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, yeah. You know, um, and I think it's worth discussing because you and I kind of talked about this um, while we were doing the pre-interview as well. Uh, one of the things that most of our clients who come in needing to lose a, a significant amount of weight are dealing with um, is a metabolic condition called insulin resistance, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And, uh, you know, uh, one of the, the things I had read in a fascinating book on insulin resistance is the fact that a woman's body becomes insulin resistant on purpose during pregnancy to promote the growth and development of the, of the baby. Um, and so mom is kind of the collateral damage to that. All the weight gain that happens is because now you're in natural physiologic insulin resistance. Um, and that's why a lot of women who are pre-diabetic become gestationally diabetic because it, that just kicks it into the next high gear for them. Yeah. Um, and that's also too, depending on what you do after pregnancy to get rid of that post-pregnancy weight, or do you just maintain that lifestyle? And that's where the insulin resistance sticks with you, mm -hmm. right? I mean, how many of our clients have said, look, you know what? I never had a weight problem before um, and until my first baby or my yep, second yep, baby or my third baby. Yep. And then they say, you know what? And after that, I've never been the same since. And, and that's physiologically and metabolically what's happening in there. Um, that's why it's great to know that there is an answer. Absolutely. Yep. We joke and I like to call them parasites. They just suck everything out of you, but <laughs> they're cute parasites. They are. They suck and that's everything. why, and that's why they're so cute. Right? That's yes. right. But right. Oh, yeah, but it was, you know, phase one really gave me that and, and going through postpartum too, because one of the things that nobody really talks about is how to keep yourself healthy postpartum. Yep. You're not mm -hmm. supposed to be losing weight. But you don't, you don't, you're not feeling like yourself, right? For right. a multitude of reasons. Oh, and so imagine. being able to rely on kind of the maintenance plan on how to eat mm -hmm. a balanced diet, mm -hmm. yep. it was crucial. Yeah. yeah. You know, guide us Absolutely. through that. Mm -hmm. Right. You're not, you're, the goal isn't to lose weight at that point, although it would be nice to just snap your fingers and bounce back. But that's, <sighs> that would have been great. That's not the way, that's <laughs> not the way it just, works. Just like know? that video, right? Just like yes! they did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took some work in between. And that's right. Exactly. Yeah. No, absolutely. But you bring up a great point. The the point right out of the gate, and especially if you're breastfeeding, is not really to, you know, go on a crash diet and lose weight. But the point is, is to get your metabolism back in order and to start feeling better again. Yes, and yes. so, you know, the maintenance again, I, I tell people, you know, in, in phase three maintenance, if we've got your macros right you should feel as amazing as you do in phase one, right? Yep, and I so, you know, that. again, uh, and Lisa Shaker talked about it too on the, on the uh, podcast I did with her client who got pregnant in her 40s, um, you know, it's with PCOS her. by surprise in her 40s, um, you know, they used uh, maintenance nutrition through her pregnancy and, mm -hmm. and afterwards. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I also really want to show this, too, because you shared it with me. Uh, I, yes. Oh, such a great the life possible family picture. Right. I love this. Oh, so true. Yeah. I mean, just running and then both my babies. I mean, without phase one, I don't think they would be here for sure. And so it's, you know, if we decide for baby number three, guess what? Phase one will be my first shot. There you go. <laughs> right. Right. Just put it. Put it right back in phase one. That's right. Yeah. I love that. The family scampering through the fields with no cares at all. That's right. Just running. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, everyone was screaming, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Picture perfect. Right. That's it. That's all you Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no. Such a cool picture. And evidently, that's your farm as well. Yes. Yes. That's our farm. Yeah. I so love that. The boys love being up there. So, yeah. So, there's Charlie and James and... You know, even though they weren't planned to be so close together, they are the best of friends. So I'm I'm definitely very lucky for that. And that's super cool. That yeah. is super cool. And I think, you know, hopefully that will remain the case. And that's, yes. that's the way that, that, <laughs> that usually happens. Um, yeah. So, so Paula, have you been through this adventure yourself? 
Oh, wow. Right in the middle. Right. Our poor clients. Yeah. So. <laughs> I know, right? They're yeah. either stuck with me or stuck with her, stuck with me or stuck with her. You know, that's fine. <laughs> so she has Charlie. And then I get back from my uh, Canada adventure, you know, shooting the film. And then shortly after, I get pregnant. And I have a beautiful baby girl named Morgan. I did gain um, 60 pounds. Unlike I told myself, I was like, okay, <laughs> after doing all my research, they say that, you know, 30 to 35 pounds is what like, you know, mm -hmm. a pregnant woman should gain. That is exactly what my goal is. I'm only going to gain 30 to 35 pounds. Oh, that was wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did not, that did not happen. Good luck to those yep. women, man. Yes. I don't know how they do it, but yep. yay for them. It's mad skills. I don't know how. <laughs> yes. As you can see the first picture, I was probably, um, I don't know, a little bit further than halfway, I would say. But the second picture on the bottom, that was like pretty much right before I went to have my daughter, but I gained 60 pounds with her. And then everyone's like, oh, but don't worry. Because once you have the baby and then you start breastfeeding, you're going to lose it right away. It falls right off. Falls right off. Wrong. <laughs> uh, Liars. Liars. Um, right. So um, I probably only lost 10 pounds from delivering. Yeah. Um, so I did have to lose 50 pounds. And um, the nice thing about knowing ideal protein is that Although I was a little disappointed that I had to lose 50 pounds, <laughs> I knew I could do it. I was like, all right. I mean, I know what to do. I could do yep. this. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say I wasn't yep. disappointed that it had to be that much, but I knew what to do. So it's nice knowing that no matter life's going to happen and things are going to get crazy sometimes and um, things don't go according to plan and we are emotional eaters. That's why we're all yeah. here. But at so, the end of the day, you like the nice thing. It's so nice to know that, you know what? I, I have ideal protein. I know how to eat. I can get back to it. And even better, I can teach my daughter. I didn't have that knowledge when I was younger. I didn't know what to right. do. And I feel like that's why I struggled so much. Yeah. Um, so it's, I just feel very blessed that I am able to share this information from her from the get go. And that I don't yeah. want her to have the struggles that I have. Yeah. I just want to eliminate that because I'm not, I mean, I think that everything happens for a reason. So there was a reason that I struggled because now I help so many people, but exactly. if there was one thing that I can help her with, I want to be, I, I am just so excited to be like, I got you. Yeah. I know what to do. You don't have to worry about that. No, I can teach yeah. you how to eat. We're going to eat healthy and you're going to be yeah. good. Yep. Yeah. No, a hundred percent. And that, that whole generational health thing too is, is just so important, mm -hmm. uh, especially with the younger generation that, that trickle down effect and knowing now that as a mom that, you know, uh, that's gotta be really pretty cool. I wanted to share too. Also, look, we've got just the beautiful, Oh, oh yes. yes. The family she picture. Is. Yes. She's, She's the so cutest. Cute. She just turned two. So she is the best. Her name's Morgan. Mm -hmm. the Absolutely cutie. the cutest. Absolutely. Yeah. My favorite food is like asparagus. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> my sons love salad and broccoli and Paula's daughter loves asparagus. And cauliflower. Like I will make her rice. And yeah, I will yeah. make, um, cauliflower rice sometimes, you know, if like if mm -hmm. I've had carbs earlier, whatever my day's looking like. Mm -hmm. And she uh, will not eat the rice. She wants the cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. like, oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. So one of the things that uh, we talked about as well, uh, we referred to it a little bit earlier, uh, but the fact that you ladies, as far as I'm concerned, you are already celebrities in, in Ideal Protein Nation um, because of uh, your social media presence. We try. Um, we do try. You, we think you we're both, hilarious. Hopefully everybody else I know, does, I but we so. are way entertained by yeah. us. <laughs> And, and I get that from your videos, which I think is pretty funny. Um, answer me this. When you're when I actually videotape, can, are, can you see yourselves? Like, how are you doing yes, that? We can. Yes, we can a little uh, bit. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so that, that's why you're so entertaining to yourselves. I got yeah. it. So. Yes, we well, see. I, I can see what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes, like, we make facial expressions at each other, and it's just, we lose it. Mm -hmm. yeah. As you can see. Yes. Yeah, I think it's pretty much accurate. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to queue up a couple of those videos. We weren't able to actually get the technical bugs worked out on that. 
Um, however, um, I would I would have you look Bree and, and Paula up on their social media, uh, Facebook and Instagram. They're both the videos you post them on both. Yes, yes, we do. You're, we do. You're you're not as challenged as I am. You're you're savvy enough to be able to get it on. We Instagram. try. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sometimes we're, today we learned something new. Yes. You can save the videos to your phone. What? Is yeah. It? We had no idea. We were yeah. like trying to download something. I made a reel on Instagram and it uh -huh. would save it directly to my phone, which yeah. we didn't couldn't figure out last week. But we figured it out today. You know. TikTok is our next thing. We've been told that we need to be on TikTok. Yes. You know, I bet I bet you will be all the rage on TikTok, quite actually. <laughs> I don't know about that. You do well with the video. You do well doing live, uh, the whole thing. And you crack us up as well as yourselves. We, that's um, good. We hope so. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so uh, one of the most entertaining videos that you did send me um, was the one that I've got both pictures up there uh, where you've got a, a friend, evidently, Here that, he that, is. Here he that is. somebody he had shared with you. Us today. Cacti. Mr. Cacti? Yes, Cacti. Here he is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey cacti can you hear me now cacti <laughs> we can hear you that that was the goal for the show there you go yes <laughs> too funny so uh, does he does he have a permanent place in the office somewhere or he, oh, yes. he does he sits in our hallway mm -hmm. and so everybody has to walk past him mm -hmm. in order um to come into the, their appointments mm -hmm. uh we usually keep him off because sometimes he can create quite a ruckus but every now and then <laughs> someone will manage to turn him on and we won't know and then we'll walk by and say something and he will repeat it and oh it's my god Hilarity. Yeah. And this is how we make coming here a great day no matter what no matter See? what he helps that's right You've the got best. all kinds of, I love that, props and tips mm -hmm. and tricks and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no doubt. No <laughs> doubt. Well, I tell you what, if we're in the Pittsburgh area, then how do we do Ideal Protein with you? So, there it is. Yes. Our website. Our website. Come to our office, info session. We do virtual. Yes. Whatever you need. Yeah come in for coaching. We've always done virtual. Um, even before the pandemic, we happened to be in an area that was kind of sparse. I know Virginia can be a little bit uh, with the population. The guys. And the traffic. It's honest, yeah. Right? And so we're, we're kind of, you know, <clears throat> there aren't that many clinics around us. So we've always done virtual uh, as well. And uh, we just, we love helping people and staying in touch. And, you know, we, we've said that there's unconditional love with us. Always. So we yeah. want to make sure that even if you start the program, you don't necessarily reach your specific goal. Mm -hmm. um, the goals can change and they're mm -hmm. fluid. And sometimes it's just having someone to coach you through those challenges. Right. So it's not just about eating protein and vegetables. Sometimes it's a little bit more complicated than that. And, um, you know, that's what we're here for. And sometimes you just want, maybe you're not in the right mind frame to do phase one, which is weight loss. Um, but you know that you need to do something and you just need to start eating healthier. We can coach you with eating healthy. We can start yeah. there. And then as your journey progresses, we can move on or yes. we can stay put. It's all tailored. Yep. Yeah. Whatever. No, you know, Paula, what an absolutely amazing thing to bring up, right? That, that not every new client has to come in in phase one. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Uh, when, uh, I realized that one time and I thought to myself, oh, my, oh, my God, yeah. like what <laughs> what a revelation that is. Right. Because yeah. everybody, most people don't understand what real and what good nutrition is. Yeah. Right. Um, creating somebody's macro code for them in phase two and, and taking them through that process. Mm -hmm. That is such a cool process now. Yeah. Right. There's Anybody out there who has not done phase two yet in Ideal Protein Nation, what are you waiting for? Come yes. back, tune mm. yourself up, and go through phase two. Absolutely. For sure. It's so structured, but in the most easy to follow way. Right. And it doesn't, I mean, with anything, just like recipes, like Paula said, you know, she doesn't cook. I don't really cook that much. Mine's, I'm really basic. But like Lori, who's <laughs> in our office, she makes the most amazing recipes. She does. You can make anything you know, complex or simple. And so I think that's the benefit to phase two and, and 
for you know stabilization and maintenance yeah. is that you can keep it simple you can follow along with it and especially after covid you know mm -hmm. our eating and our coaching went from saying hey you're not getting enough protein and vegetables to coaching through people you know that are going through some massive things yeah um and so mm -hmm. sometimes just getting that you know eating under control to eat a balanced diet yep. is is enough to get to it's a big deal I was saying the 12 pounds it's, yeah. it's a way to get you past that point where you don't think you can get yeah absolutely no it's a huge deal um and, and i love that too right another subsection of videos you guys have are the taste tests and the yes. recipes and yes. all those fun things um yeah. Are you really tasting it for the first time? When yes, most of the time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing the oatmeal, the, the cranberry. Are you really? Oh, yeah, yes. we're doing it um, overnight oats. Yeah, they recommend it in the fridge on the back box. It recommended as the overnight oats, so we made the water. It's in the fridge. We're giving it the time. And stay tuned. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Ours <laughs> just arrived today as well. Um, oh, that's fantastic. Yes. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for for coming on the show today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you so much. It was so much fun. It's absolutely my pleasure. I, I'm sure that people are going to connect with you. They're going to get some really great information, especially uh, through your experiences and talking about thyroid, talking about pregnancy and, and all those things. Um, so you will be helping so many people, I'm sure, even more so. And uh, I will see you in a few days. Yes. You we'll guys, see you. you heading down Friday, Saturday? Well, Thursday. Thursday. Oh, yeah, of, so we'll of be... course, it's it's the Brie plan. Go a night early, <laughs> get that hotel, get that hotel room, right? That's Rest right. up That's so it. that so that you can roll through the whole thing. Oh, that'll nice be great. Track. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we'll see you in a couple of days. Awesome. Sounds great. I... All right. You guys head backstage. I'll be with you in a sec. All right. <laughs> wow. Again, like I said, uh, did not disappoint. What an amazing show. Uh, I, I really enjoy them. Um, you will too if you find them on their social media. Tune into their videos. Uh, you know, go there as soon as you can to find out what they thought about the uh, the new cranberry vanilla overnight oat oatmeal. I can't wait for that one. Um, so until then, uh, please like like the show. Uh, follow us on Facebook and on YouTube is where we have the video. Um, I'm on audio on all the, the uh, podcast platforms. So whether you use iTunes or Spotify, uh, I'm, I'm nipping at Joe Rogan's heels. So if we can get some new listeners to, to subscribe, uh, I might catch him. Mm, probably not. Um, but um, as always, like I say, uh, keep reaching for your life possible. Mm -hmm.